Today, I am at LFS, Lynn Fashion Showcase. Lynn University has been hosting fast shows for over the past 20 years, and they have been very successful. At the event, I interviewed designers, models, and Lynn faculty about what their roles are and how they contributed to the event. My favorite part about the event is the collaboration. We've got students from the College of Business, College of Communication and Design, uh, hospitality program, fashion program, all working together. Our production staff is much from upstairs, uh, Cesar Santillo's group. You know, each show is different, uh, but I think what we try to, to bring to, to Lynn University is to always make it bigger and better every year. Uh, one of the things that uh, Dr. Katrina Carter Tellison really wanted was us, us to reach out to the community. And what I mean community, the South Florida community. I think it was just the collaboration of all the students. I think it was all of them working together collectively for a common goal. And I think when students come together, when they put their best into it, I think we create magic together. So I reached out to a very close friend and colleague of mine, uh, Marcus Ortega, who works at uh, Miami-Dade College. Uh, when I asked him about what he thought the idea was of maybe part, uh, bringing in Miami-Dade College as a partner, he was ecstatic. When Lynn reached out to you, what was your reaction? Well, I was uh, very excited, uh, first of all. Um, I've heard of Lynn and uh, all the different things that have happened here. I looked into the program, I talked to, uh, to Mr. Santolo about the fashion merchandising program here. And, uh, and I thought it was a great opportunity to have our design students come and, and just attend. Actually, I think it's the collaboration with Miami-Dade. I think bringing those designers in, I think it helped infuse us. I think it helped create energy. And I think it helped to um, build a synergy between our students and theirs. I talked to designers from all varieties about how they expressed their individual creativity for this year's show. It's complicated. You, you got to know a lot of patterns. You got to know what you're trying to do. You got to know who you're trying to target, the audience you're trying to target. Fashion, fashion is not like math. There is no right and wrong answer. It's basically what the professor prefers. Were your expectations met tonight with the models representing your creativity? Of course. I think Kayara opening up the show was like amazing. Um, my expectations were blown away. I think the show was amazing. They all killed it, even though they're all student models. This was a very special show because of all the breathtaking designs that were shown off by our talented models. It is currently pre-show. What is one word to describe how are you feeling right now? I'll say excitement and nervousness. I'm very nervous. It's my first show, but we're excited. I'm looking forward to actually modeling. I was in the class last year and I was a stylist, so having the opportunity to walk on the runway is really exciting. I'm actually really, really excited, to be honest. Like, I can't wait. Like, I mean, a little jittery, but like, good nerves, you know what I mean? Because I'm modeling in the show and I'm really excited. What does fashion mean to you? Um, fashion means a lot to me, creativity, and also making you feel good about yourself. The models did a fantastic job expressing the theme for this year's event, Evolution of Expression. I feel that each designer was able to capture the evolution, not only of fashion, but self-expression when it comes to men and women's fashions. This year's fashion show could have not been possible without our backstage crew, who manage lights, camera, and the action. One of the major um, parts of this fashion show is that it has been really innovative. It has really like this um, kind of creative side of things. You know, last year was like kind of like the first time we did it in this floor in the library. So it was kind of like, a, I feel like a test, you know, and we went kind of like old fashioned, right? But this year we went all out, you know, it's about, you know, the evolution of expressions. Among those that attended the show, there were many special guests within the audience. I spoke to Christine Lynn about how she felt to be at the event. Well, I'm very proud to be here tonight because the library carries the Lynn family name and we are so pleased to know that there's so many wonderful young people that benefit from this wonderful facility and not only the facility but fantastic school. Mm -hmm. And what's your, like, what are you most looking forward to tonight? I'm looking forward to see the fashions and see what's up because I'm an old woman and the younger generation has a little different look and sometimes I can't wear it because it's either too low or belly button showing or something else, but I'm looking forward to see what creative designs that the students have, dis um, have performed in, in creating these creations tonight. Overall, the fashion show was a huge success. All the models looked perfect in their unique designs made by our own creative designers, as well as our special guests from Miami-Dade College. See you on the runway next year. Reporting for iPulse News, this has been Allison Wallace.